As our dream team expands, we choose to honor those who have hit it out of the park by serving our country. Introducing the QHS Valor Project, and welcome to part 10. Hi there, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today for a little impromptu dis discussion on the QHS Valor Project. The QHS Valor Project is veterans healing PTSD with the quantum twine wave effect delivered via the home healing system. We call that the QTW. HHS. And that's what I want to talk about here today. The home healing system is the latest, very important project. The uh, We've got the supporting two projects going on here that we're going to discuss today. The QHS Valor Project. I need to, there it is. <laughs> the QHS Valor Project. And the QHS Valor Project is the nonprofit where we are providing the home healing system to the individual and or the entity that will be coordinating the study with us with those that are handicapped and unable to participate online. That is the distinction right there. Okay. So we have this QHS Valor Project is a separate secondary project moving alongside of the uh, quantum twine wave home healing system. The HHS is huge project for us. We have almost 500 hundred people, almost 500 people that have stepped up and said, I want to be a part of that project. How exciting is that? These are members these are members that donated to support this and make it possible for us to do this project. Thank you, members. And it is so beautiful what we have done here. And I just like to do a little bit of a step back in time because this is I'm so proud of who we are and what we've done. When we first started, we came up, we, we, we met Wade, our beautiful manufacturer. Wade has created the opportunity for us to have the quantum twine wave effect, this device here, this small device. We call this the QT wave. I want everybody to understand how important that is. The home healing system and the project that we have here, the home healing system is able to go to work very quickly. And twine waves that are being delivered to the individuals are able to be stronger, able to wake up those weak cells to create the healing that we want much faster. They go to work right away. Alfredo told me uh, the other day, he said, I had to, I had, I had to see what this study is going to show me because I'm afraid this home healing system is going to eliminate pain so fast that people won't know if hurting. And sometimes your body needs to tell you when you're hurting. <laughs> That's a good one. I know. And I'll tell you, I, I have experienced this myself, the home healing system. And so I have personal experience about it. And I'm telling you what, it is powerful. It is the ability to clear your head. It clears everything right away. I felt it. I I'm speaking for myself here. Okay. So for anybody that's suffering, you know, they're, they're really going to be a beautiful testimony for us. We need to, we need that. We need to have our members. They know what to do. We've got the system that works. We've got our ability to report now and our members really know what to do. This organization started out in 2022 with the quantum twine wave, as I said, the quantum twine wave device. We had about 120 members. We didn't have many. We had about 120 members who came in and donated. And we took the money that they provided us, that for this precious small group. We were very small in those days. And we took and we provided devices for every one of our members. Every one of our members, which represented at that time over 700, received the opportunity to have this device at no additional cost. I love everybody here. Everybody here is in service to others 
We care about other people. We are donating. We are volunteers. And we're here to make sure that this is a valid project that flies on the wings of, of doves and angels because we're being carried. Okay. Precious people, thank you. We're being carried. The QHS Valor Project is going to be no different. We're going to provide these systems at no cost. If you have the right relationships, if you can participate with us like this, and um, it will be fantastic for you and for us. So we're looking for members who are active or, or who want to be a volunteer and step up and be a part of this. How can you help? Okay. And uh, we are going to hear Cohen has a story and Tracy has a story and Steph has a story and Sam is a supporter. Sam is looking for her place here to be more active in ownership. But uh, so wonderful. Thank you so much, members, for um, your believing in this project, for your commitment to this project. Um, it is extremely important and you know, I think this is something that's really uh, rings true to my heart um, when it comes to our heroes, our veterans, and the sacrifice that they have uh, ha have made to uh, give us the life that we have and the opportunities that we have to um, realize our dreams. And this is a perfect example of this perfect mesh between the dreams that we carry in our heart and the foundation that our veterans have uh, got us to this point. We can complain and we can look at all, all the different things that are going on, but the bottom line is that we're here today because somebody said, not on my watch, I will step up and do that. And when we have these veterans who have done that, they've taken some casualties along the way. Um, and one of those uh, casualties is the uh, trauma to the mind, the trauma to the brain. And so this is a very important uh, thing to me because I've seen how it's affected it. And it's an opportunity where we can take a veteran who's suffering, who's in a place um, in his life where he's, he's given up potentially some hope. And we're going to be able to um, meet him where he's at and give them an opportunity to participate in this uh, proof of concept in a, in a miraculous uh, frequency that, that is able to um, potentially do things that modern medicine couldn't do. Right. So we're, we're really excited about uh, the opportunity to do that. I'm up here in a uh, location um, that would be perfect for it. It's quiet. It's in the mountains. It's beautiful. And uh, we're in, uh, discussions right now in the planning part of uh, putting this together where we're going to bring veterans in um, so that they can experience this. So I'm really excited about this opportunity. Thank you, Cohen. And uh, let's talk about that really miraculous frequency. PTSD is very specific. PTSD is damaging the tissue. It's damaging the bone. And we, we don't know what the uh, shock is of an EID, right? When you step and you have that explosion that goes on, what happens with the brain? What happens, the swelling with the brain? What is, what is going on with the muscle memory? What's going on all about that? The brain, Dr. Alfredo, um, charted 47,000 frequencies in the brain. Now, there's still a hundred some thousand. That's not everything. So what's going to happen is, is these frequencies are going to come in and those frequencies include the bone structure. They include the muscles. They include the, 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 the chemistry, the brain chemistry, because remember, it's the fluid in the brain that, that could be dried up through stress, through addictions, through medications. Who knows what? The chemistry in the brain may be messed up, but that is also going to be affected with frequencies. Everything in the brain is affected with frequencies. This system is held right close to your body. The difference is the home healing system is coding you and finding you wherever you are. In Cohen's instance, we'll have 10 weeks with these individuals where they are going to be tracked while they're in the facility. They're going to be affected while they're in the facility. And Cohen's going to be taking a look and taking notes. This is where, where they were. This is where they are today. This is where they are today. And Cohen's going to be tracking that. It's a wonderful study that he's going to be doing. And now let's hear from Tracy, who's also got a plan for that. Tracy, you want to talk about what your plan is here? 
Yes. Thank you, Cynthia. I'm really excited you guys, because my brother in 1998 was in a horrible motorcycle accident and he suffered a traumatic brain injury. He, my parents took care of him for about 20 years and then they just couldn't anymore physically. My mom is, has dementia. So he's been in a group home for about six years, I believe. And he cannot speak. He has paralysis on his right side and his brain is in and out. Sometimes he's like a five-year-old and does behaviors that are just unexplainably random. So he also has bipolar and inside of his home, there's people with schizophrenia, dementia, diabetes. Um, I'm looking at my list, high blood pressure, um, and depression. And so everybody has a different condition that they are not able to, you know, deal with charging this every day and wearing it and carrying it around. I'm sure it would end up lost. So having the passive system of the home healing system will be just fabulous. And the woman who takes care of all these people is just so lovely. She loves to feed them organic food and she plays high frequency music for them. And so she does a lot of healthy habits already for her people. And she's really excited to participate in the study. That's wonderful. And thank you. Thank you so much for making that possible. You know, Tracy, she has the woman that you've described is like our ideal candidate to support this. And you are the ideal candidate to support this, too. So Tracy already knows how she can help the Valor Project. And uh, I know there are other group homes and we'd love to be able to have our members step in that may have access to group home. It may be a group home that is helping individuals who are handicapped mentally and physically. It may be a group home for elderly. I'm sure we have other members that have opportunity for us. We won't take very many. We need just a few. But what we'd like is to have people step up. Steph, I'd like to hear from you, too, about what you have that you're bringing. Well, currently, um, I'm working with our, our local uh, firefighter 911 call center How and you? I'm trying to get a relationship um, where they're, they're making some changes right now because uh, pretty much they got overwhelmed uh, about a month ago um, in my town the the murder rate seems to be really high recently and oh my goodness. Uh, and what's going on is uh, the call center <laughs> went a whole day without answering the call. Oh my goodness! Um, so basically, uh, they're they're doing some changes, but to be able to support them because in that capacity, you know, they're they're a for, they're a front line, and if they're not able to cope with what's going on, it's the same thing. They shut down. We can't allow them to go through that and not support that to help them stand on their own to help them help us. Yeah. Well, the fire department is a really good one too. And uh, Mm -hmm. let's talk about that. A lot of firefighters are former veterans. A lot Mm -hmm. of firefighters came from the military and they suffered, you know, just like Max, just like Cohen, right? Cohen? Yeah. Right. Talk about, what your how how this device has helped you so far, Colin. Can you take a minute and go into that? One of the things that I noticed right off the bat was my sleep. And um, anyone who uh, suffers with PTSD will know, you know, uh, sometimes the dreams, the length of sleep, the quality of sleep uh, is, is really affected. Uh, for instance, myself, I would wake up, you know, in sweats, and uh, kind of in a panic, you know, you, you just, you, you wake up and you're, you're in a really high heart rate, ready to go to battle. And um, since I have had this, uh, the first night, you know, I got, a, I got a full eight hours of sleep. And that's something that, you know, it's, it's been years since I've had. Um, so that was an immediate relief. It was like, you know, getting home. And the warm fire has started and there's food on the table and it's just this 
huge relax to be able to get a full night's sleep. You don't realize how stressful it is until you, you're able to experience that. So that was an immediate um, experience. And then, um, you know, as I've had it, I've had it for a little over a month now. And, you know, there's those smaller things that you aren't as drastic, but you, you definitely pick up on them when you start to notice a different um, uh, routine. And I, I, I've noticed that I'm out of bed in the morning in a healthy pattern routine of like, I'm, I'm okay. ready to eat a healthy breakfast. I'm going for a walk. And, you know, there's this, uh, there's this, um, you know, I'm just making choices that are, are really putting myself first and really putting my own uh, personal health first. And those things, when you're always thinking about this, the stress and you're in, in that fight or flight mode, you know, you kind of put your own needs on the back burner. And that's, that carries over as a veteran, you know, you're, I'll, I'll, I'll put my needs on the back burner and, you know, mission first. And that pattern, you know, when you have such a high stress environment that you're in, it gets really ingrained into the ways that you think. And it carries over and continues even when you're not in danger anymore. And you continue to put your own needs down and, and off to the side. And so I've had a change in just the ways that I've, I've, conducted my own uh, patterns throughout the day in really prioritizing my own health. And so that, that's a, that's a kind of a gradual uh, adjustment that's happened over the last uh, month or two, like I said, but it's a, a definitely a, a noticeable change. Yeah. Max has talked about this too. And uh, all the, all of those that are veterans that are going to participate, that are going to be able to receive this experience as part of the home healing system are going to have a huge shift immediately, just like you did Cohen, except it's going to be even more imp impactful. So who do you know that, that we can help where this would work? Okay. That's the, that's the question. Who do you know? that would like to be a part of this QHS Valor project that you can reach out to, that you have influence over, that you can support us, that you can be a part of. This is, we'd love to have a hospice environment. Can you imagine a hospice environment with this? Yes, mm -hmm. Steph? Yeah, that was, that was also something in, well, those who don't know, I did spend time in hospice myself. Uh, several years ago. And uh, I recently uh, went over to a community that I thought was a old, who was, I mean, I can say it, can I? Ronald McDonald House. Yeah. And they converted, <laughs> and they converted it, and it's a hospice house for children. And, and I wanted to just jump in there and run and give them the advice. I mean, everything, because you want to help the kids, but then you start to think of the, the workers also that are there to support the children also. Yeah. So that's like a two for making sure that the children feel better, but also making sure that the workers can help and support them to go through such a difficult time. We'd love to help them, Steph, yeah. and we've got to continue with our MO of mm -hmm. not being medical, right? Correct. And so there's the, there's the difficulty for us. How can we have this in a hospice type environment where doctors are not involved and we're not talking about doctors? It's not representing medical. All we're saying is we think this might help. Right. <laughs> this might Just help. We, we had one member who he had severe cancer and this man, he was so, he was felt, he was in such pain all the time. And uh, his brother told him about this. He says, oh, please get that for me. We got the device for him. It didn't, it wasn't able to stop the cancer from killing him. But what it did stop was his need for morphine. I can tell you this. <laughs> it was incredible that he lived his last days without being in a morphine stupor. He lived his last days without pain for the most part. It's very important. Very important. Very important. And that was this little device. <laughs> we think the big one's going to be very powerful. So 
I don't know. Maybe our members have some ideas for us. And there you go. How can, how can you help? How can you help the QHS Valor Project? Sam, do you want to add anything, dear? Um, I would love to. Um, I think it's important to recognize um, all of the sacrifices the veterans have given for us. And that was never um, a temporary sacrifice. Um, they have seen and been through things that, you know, we can't um, even comprehend, uh, some of us. And, you know, that's something that stays with them for a lifetime. That's a sacrifice that they have literally given their life. And for us to be able to, um, use this project to help the folks that have paid this ultimate sacrifice, um, is absolutely incredible. Um, using the twine wave myself, um, from my own experience, just the handheld device, I've already noticed a huge difference. I think that this is going to be, um, I think this is going to be a game changer. Thank you. I Sam. think this is going to be a game changer. And I just, um, I, uh, going forward, I'm looking forward to seeing, um, all of us be able to give these veterans a hand up and, uh, I think that they deserve it more than anyone. Right. Alex wasn't able to join us today. Neither was Elias. And one of, one of the things Alex mentioned is, is 7 million veterans are mm -hmm. left uncared for, unable to get the care they need. 7 million is a huge number of those struggling with these day-to-day -day, uh, challenges that we talked about. And so this is the, this is what we'd like to pursue here. Why is this system so important? The healing bed is totally new. I want to I want to segue here for a little bit. The QR, our healing bed, is totally new. You're going to lay on the bed, you're going to get better. How many people know about it? They don't know. Mm -hmm. How many people are aware or even open to it? Not that many. We're going to start out here because we have this experience. We're comfortable with the quantum twine wave. We've been conditioned with the quantum twine wave. This membership is going to benefit with the opportunity to be a part of the QARC study. However, the place in this world for the home healing systems is huge, 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 because it's protecting your home. It's protecting you. It's protecting others that come in your home. And in this case, with this study, what we're going to do is demonstrate how it can help people level up, level up, level up. So they love the quantum twine wave, too. And then they're able to move into the next stage, which is the healing bed. We have unshakable faith and unbreakable loyalty. And we have that for everyone. Thank you, members. Thank you. QHS Valor team, thank you for this wonderful call. And uh, I think that wraps it up.